Hello my dear netizen students get back to MVS learning institute so subscribe our channel in order not to miss regular classes thank you so let's go for discussing the rest of the class so in previous class just now we have discussed the divisions so here nouns that we can divide such as singular nouns and plural nouns countable nouns and uncountable nouns so two divisions are completed but here this is regarding the matter of gender either male or female it's a matter of gender either male or female regarding this one most of the people have different different doubts so let's discuss what are the masculine nouns what are the feminine nouns what are the masculine nouns what are the feminine nouns so first let's see one by one what is masculine noun or what are the masculine nouns masculine nouns are the words which are used for men folk that is gentle folk folk means f o l k folk means people what is that group of people so regarding what so masculine nouns are the words which are used for men boys and male animals i understood for example for example okay you take man who is a man is it male or female yes it is if this word belongs to male so that's why it is known as masculine boy is it male or female it also belongs to what masculine noun i understood like there are many suppose you see here bull what is bull is it male animal or female animal it's male animal so that's why it belongs to masculine so masculine nouns are the words which are used for men boys and male animals it is known as male gender so masculine nouns are nothing but male gender what about feminine nouns feminine nouns are the words which are used for women girls and female animals what about feminine feminine nouns so feminine nouns are the words which are used for women women folk so that is women people so women girls and female animals suppose you see here girl mother so here girl belongs to which category female category mother also female category and see cow female category so that's why known as female gender so what is here feminine nouns so this is called these kinds of nouns are called feminine nouns so feminine nouns which are used feminine nouns are the words which are used for women girls and female animals let us discuss here detailing here see some more masculine and the feminine nouns are given bride masculine noun what is the feminine bridegroom bride bridegroom here yes, see the combination roster and male female male female masculine feminine masculine means what here male gender feminine means female gender see bride is the male is the male gender bridegroom female gender have you understood and roster and 
line linus this is the male the male line this is the female linus this is the male rooster this is the female hen this is the king is a male queen feminine female and your some more masculine ma some more masculine and feminine nouns for the people here are some more mask masculine and feminine nouns for people so let's see actor as a male actress no actor is not both male and female it's wrong actor is the masculine actress is the feminine boy girl brother sister emperor empress c s t e w a r d it is appeared as if it were pronounced as steward it's not steward it is steward what is that steward it is stewardess what does it mean a person who job is to take care of the passengers on ship plane or train this is the male this is the female have you understood so this is the male masculine this is the feminine so male steward female stewardess stewardess this is father mother like you can make some more you can make some more what are they grandfather masculine grandmother feminine grandson masculine granddaughter feminine master not ma'am mistress mr madam see here you are you will have to identify master is a masculine what is the combination of master or feminine so feminine feminine mistress here mr what is the combination of female gender madam or ma'am the short form see some people they are writing ma'am m a m ma'am it is wrong so m a m is known as mom is the informal word m a m c m a m means mom or mummy mummy or mom it is an informal so generally here so some people they are accustomed to call mom or ma'am mummy but mother is formal so this is an informal so that is our wish so m a m pronunciation ma'am but meaning is mom or mummy but what about the short form of ma'am madam m a a m this is ma'am means as you are giving respect a particular woman this is called ma'am the word here the word mystery is used for respecting male gender and ma'am which is used for respecting woman so that is female gender am i right so this is ma'am m a d a m madam the short form of madam is ma'am m a apostrophe a ma'am so this is what contraction mark it is not apostrophe it's not apostrophe it is what contraction mark but it is appeared as if it were apostrophe but it is not apostrophe it is contraction mark okay come on so m a m is wrong so don't write like this as you as you are going to express as m e d a m short form m a m so it is not m a m m a m so but between two s you will have to keep contraction mark okay come on see here master mistress mr madam or ma'am so here are the, so both masculine and feminine nouns which are used for people now here are some more masculine and feminine nouns for both male and female animals okay so let's see what are there here see bull is male animal cow female animal buck is male the so here what about the buck here it is a rich family deer deer d e r deer it is the male duck 
समय बक इसमें जो डांस हैं सो में दिया इस नॉन एस बक एंड फिर में दिया इस नॉन एस जो सो ये आल्सो दिस इस कैटल फैमिली सो सी हियर एंड हियर बिफोर वी डिस्कस रोस्टर हैं चिकन दिस इस व्हाट यार चिकन रोस्टर इस यार मेल रोस्टर इट इज मेल हैम फीमेल सो मेल चिकन इज रोस्टर फीमेल चिकन इज हैम आई एम सो सो दिस इज मेल बुल फीमेल कॉल हियर आल्सो डिया मेल डिया इज बक फीमेल डिया इज डॉग एंड यर डॉन्की एंड इट्स डॉन्की फैमिली सी व्हाट अबाउट दैट इट्स मेल डॉन्की इज नोन एज जैक फीमेल फेमिनिन इज जेनी and the jack is known as a dull person sometimes some people they are using the word a donkey so what does it mean a dull person a moody person and your drake duck it's duck family duck so male duck is known as drake is a masculine and female duck is known itself as duck is a feminine is a gander goose it's goose family As here, male goose is known as gander. Female goose is known as itself goose. Tiger, tigers. Tiger family. See here, male tiger is known as tiger. Is known as masculine. This is female tiger is called tigress. Like here, lion is a male. Lioness is a female lion. So here, female tiger is known as tigress. Is a feminine. This is masculine, but here so we discuss till now. Masculine, feminine nouns for people and masculine, feminine nouns for animals. But here what? Sometimes, some kinds of people who are there. Suppose you take teacher. Who is that teacher? The teacher, my sister, my sister is also teacher. I am also teacher. But my sister, sister belongs to what? Which gender? Mas, mas, uh, feminine. I am. I am a man. Yes, being a man, I belong to masculine gender. But see here, as I am a man, belong to masculine gender. As my sister. belongs to feminine gender but what kind of gender it is what kind of gender it is is it masculine or feminine it's both then it's so what here both in accordance with the situation my sister is a teacher so in accordance with her she is she is a feminine gender But in accordance with my situation, I am masculine gender. So these kind of words are called both the masculine and feminine. Suppose see, who is your sister? My sister is a teacher. So I have identified particularly. That's why you know, even if my sister is my sister is a teacher, is known as feminine. But I am also teacher. As you know me, being a teacher, then you identify me as a masculine gender. But you don't know, teacher. Who is a teacher? Either male or female. We don't know. So that's why in this kind of situation, what kind of gender it is? If you know the person particularly, if you know, if you know the person, if you know the female person who is known as a teacher, yes, you know. That's why it is feminine gender. If you know the male gen, the male gender. Is known as teacher. Yes, you may consider it is a masculine, but you don't know. Just you know the word teacher. Yes. What can you What can you call? You don't know. It is either. It is either. She or he. You don't know them. How How will you consider? How will you consider? It is either masculine or feminine gender. 
here in this kind of situation it is impossible so that's why these kinds of words are called both masculine and feminine so these kinds of words are considered as both masculine and gen masculine and feminine gender suppose you see in examination there is given dancer you may be asked to find out what kind of gender it is if you write masculine gender is right answer or if you write feminine gender is also right answer because this word is considered as both masculine and feminine gender because we don't know who is the person either male or female so until we see we can't decide so that's why as we don't know particularly the people who belong to either male or female so that's why we will have to consider these kind of words both masculine and feminine genders okay and understood so let's see the examples here dancers accountants accountants not accountants accountants parents artists peoples but see let's come here actor actress actor is masculine gender actress is feminine gender but artists are known as both actor and actress but here it is considered as both masculine and feminine gender peoples peoples students and see here lawyers some more examples just make some more lawyers singers okay so there are many many examples regarding this one i want you to find out some more practice find out so this is the information about both masculine and feminine nouns as we know masculine and feminine nouns these are but these are all living things what about non living things do the non living things have no gender do they have do the non living things have no gender if you want to go with dealing the non living things the non -living, what about non living things a thing which doesn't have life is called a non living thing okay so these are all living things as you know as you know so that's why we discussed what are the masculine gender what are the feminine genders so what are the masculine nouns what are the feminine nouns so what are the masculine nouns the masculine nouns which are the words the masculine nouns are the words which are used for men boys and male animals so all are living things and feminine nouns are the words which are used for women girls and female animals so these are the masculine and feminine nouns but what about non gender see come on so here generally most of the people they are discussing the both genders masculine and feminine genders but here there are three kinds of genders masculine feminine and neuter so there are three kinds of nouns and so masculine nouns feminine nouns and neuter nouns so masculine and feminine we have discussed just now then let's discuss neuter nouns so what are they see here these are the words these are the words which are used for things these are the words which are used for things that are neither masculine nor feminine neither nor is used for negative sense neither nor is used for negative sense so these are the words which are used for things which are not at all considered as both masculine and feminine why because these are non living non living things suppose you take computer is it male or female because it is thing how can you consider is it male or female if it is a living thing then you are able to find out the gender it is either male or female 
If it is if you recognize it is male, then you may come to me it is masculine. If you recognize it is a female, then you will come to me it is feminine. It is feminine. But computer, how can you say? Sky, can't, floor, wind, these are all words. So these kind of words which are used for things that are neither masculine and feminine is called a neuter nouns. So simply you will have to remind the words which are used for things that are neither masculine nor feminine are called neuter nouns. Suppose this is a word. What is this? I want to ask you a question. Is it masculine gender? Is it feminine? Is it masculine noun? Is it feminine noun? Or is it neuter noun? You can say very well, simply it is a neuter noun. Am I right? Pen. What kind of pen? What kind of noun it is? What kind of noun it is? Is it masculine or feminine or neuter? It is neuter because it doesn't have life. Do you understand? So the words which are used for things, the words which are used for things that are neither masculine or feminine are called neuter nouns. Am I right? What the word said now? So suppose this is watch. So watch what kind of gender it is? Yes, you can say very simply. Yes, what kind of noun it is? It is neuter. It is a neuter noun. So regarding what? Of course it is a singular noun and countable noun. That is different. But regarding gender, what kind of gender it is? What kind of gender it is? It is neuter gender. It is what here? Neuter gender. Pen is also neuter gender. Okay, neuter noun. So these are the three kinds of genders. Masculine, feminine and neuter. So what are the neuter nouns? Let's see. Ball, forest, building. So I am going to keep here star mark. I will tell you that. Bar, forest, building. This is see here. Gymnasium. Not it is not a gymnasium. Gymnasium. This is what here. What is the pronunciation of this word? Gymnasium. Okay. Gymnasium. Gym. That is called what here? Gym. Short form. Gym. Gymnasium. Broom. Playground. Cake. Rock. Computer. Sky. Card, floor, wind, wind, mirror, fire, waterfall, bench, leaves. So here, bar, forest, these are all, and etc. etc. These are all, so these are all non living things are called neutral norms. But you may get down immediately. I will explain the star marks later. Sir, what kind of, what is the gender of ship? What is the gender of ship? What is the gender of earth? What is a gender of earth? You may get it out. Am I right? Ship, earth. The both are considered as feminine nouns. That is called feminine gender. You may get out immediately. So just now you have told us non-living things which are known as neutral nouns. Yeah, I admit with you. But the thing is here, ship, literally the neutral nouns, the neutral nouns are known as metaphorical gender gender. Metaphorical. Metaphorical gender. Metaphorical gender. Do you understand what I said now? Neuter nouns are known as metaphorical gender. But when do we have to use the word metaphorical gender? It is used for poetic effort. It is used for so generally actually see a ship is as you know as it is non living thing so this is also non living thing of course we are living on the earth yes as you know as we have known the information we will have to use this is in neuter norms 
but all the neutral nouns sometimes are known as metaphorical gender what is that metaphorical gender metaphorical gender what is this metaphorical gender what is this what is metaphor a comparison with something so it is an implied simile so comparison with some other things so this is literally so that's why it is literature literature so this is literature it is a completely deep knowledge so that is a different thing but i want you to come to understand that's why i have brought this word so all neutral nouns are known as sometimes metaphorical genders so when do you have to use this one actually metaphorical gender which is used for a poetic effect in order to personify and show in order to in order to personify or show strong emotion involvement with them do you understand metaphorical gender is used for poetic effect in order to personify or show strong emotional envy involvement with them suppose see forest what is the word here forest i have put star mark forest forest is considered as a nature nature is considered as she like a mother mother belongs to feminine am i right so that's why forest belongs to which gender feminine no doubt at all no doubt at all it's a feminine it's not masculine but why do you have to call here neuter neuter now because it is just a word there is no any other narration so when forest is said as poetry then it is known as feminine i am sure what is it now i hope you will understand this one so forest and your wind mirror fire these are all i mean what i have kept storm marks maximum these are all referring poetry so when they are when it is when these kind of words are referred in poetry so they are known as mostly feminine so forest so forest is known as nature the nature is considered as she so she here the nature is nothing but she but who is she here mother so mother belongs to female so female gender is known as feminine so that's why here forest is feminine so this is called here in by then the forest is known as metaphorical gender so forest is known metaphorical gender if it is known as a metaphorical gender then it is called feminine do you understand so whenever it may be if if a non living thing is considered as metaphorical gender in the way of poetry it may be either feminine or masculine gender suppose you take here wind is the, there is a poem wind so 9 plus cbs there is a poem wind here the wind throws weak things wind throws weak things that is weak things when wind comes so here the wind is personified personified means what here we are giving living we are giving life to non living things we are giving life to the non living things suppose this is duster if we consider as it is my friend how should i use this duster yes this duster being a friend helps me to rub the board like my hand then it is called personified and because i have given a life to this one and it is known as he then masculine but it is what here a neuter noun it is what not noun when it is a duster so that's why my dear needs and students you remember one thing neuter noun sometimes they are known as metaphorical genders when it is used in the way of poetry the poetic style in the way of poetic style then they are known as either feminine or masculine
okay do you understand here so wind here it is known as huge power is considered as a man so that's why masculine gender so right here and the mirror mirror is a poem and temple of cbs text english communicative literature mirror see as the person suppose see as you are how do you imagine as you are standing in front of the mirror mirror every day i am watching you there is no change in you but there is change in me now i am so beautiful and now i am so handsome now there are no pimples on my face but after, i mean gradually i am getting but there is no change in you so here as that is your expression that is your narration so here that is a poetic style so you are you are considered as your friend then it is known as here what mirror is considered as a feminine okay so this is different but you remain one thing so when these neuter nouns are used in poetic style in the way of poetic style they are known as metaphoric genders the metaphoric genders may be known as either feminine nouns or masculine nouns that is called what here either feminine gender or masculine gender now come to here what is the gender of ship now you may come to understand ship here if you ask the question literally we have a right evidence literally we have right evidence but we don't want the evidence if you want to know just you go to google then you will come to it you google it you will come to know how the ship is known as a feminine gender simply what is the gender of ship it is a feminine gender how can you consider so literally we know boat what is here boat boat may have mother ships or sister ships in what here it is boat it is a small one it may have mother ships or sister ships so mother ship sister ships so mother what here it produces isn't it mother produces the younger one so that's why mother is considered as a feminine so that's why ship in the way ship is considered as feminine gender like earth is considered as mother so that's why it is also considered as feminine gender forest also considered as feminine gender hurricane is also considered as feminine gender but tools regarding tools suppose here computer is considered as masculine gender as i told you when it is used in the way of poetic style literature style okay so this is the information about masculine feminine and the neuter nouns so i understood what are the masculine nouns the nouns masculine nouns are the words which are used for men boys and male animals so feminine nouns feminine nouns are the words which are used for women girls and female animals but what about neuter nouns the word you see here the neuter nouns are the word neuter nouns are the words for things that are neither masculine nor feminine are called neuter nouns so that's why here there are three kinds of genders okay so masculine nouns feminine nouns neuter nouns so this is regarding the detailed information about nouns for example let us see one example see here so regarding this masculine feminine genders the host see here the host hostess the host and the hostess is the male one is the female one welcomed welcomed their guests the host and the hostess the host and the hostess welcomed their guests see how i have used masculine and the feminine nouns in one sentence it is a masculine noun it is feminine noun ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen welcome to our party 
an answer. King and the queen had two children, a boy and a daughter. I am sure what said no. So this is the way of making examples. So you will have to go for searching what are the some more masculine nouns and the feminine nouns. So you are able to understand on watching this class. Now neuter nouns you have understood. So you will have to go for practicing how to put masculine and feminine neuter nouns in sentences. So if you go for practicing, you will get command on masculine, feminine and neutral nouns and NJC here now nouns class nouns so as we what are the nouns here so noun is one of the parts of speech there are five, five kinds of nouns proper noun common noun collective noun material noun and abstract noun so these are all five kinds of nouns and we have discussed detailedly what they are so noun class is completed nouns class is completed and next class let's learn about pronouns thank you thank you very much and keep watching our channel thank you